Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for mid-month July 2020. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in uh, Gemini. For personal readings and for, yeah, personal readings, everything in the description below this video, you can get a love or career reading on my website. It's showing here or in the description, you can find the link as well. I will also do a extended of this particular reading, but in a new video, you can access that if you become a member. It's very easy, very simple, and you can access all the readings. Uh, extended readings which each one is the link is in in the description below each video so for maybe a Leo extended you go to the description of that video and you click the link of the extended for this one I do put in the comments as well and in the description okay Gemini giving and receiving waiting taking time to think, waiting results until you have this confrontation, until you confront the issue, because what it needs to happen is um, a more balanced relationship of both of you giving the same, okay? Pisces had that as well, maybe other signs, but some of you dealing with the Pisces, rest and reconsider. So this is... Uh, trying to see, giving the situation some time to see if this person starts putting effort, okay? Or they may be thinking, when is Gemini putting in effort with me, okay? Until there's that confrontation, maybe some of you are going to see each other, you work together, you, uh, you know, you f go to the same places or, or, actually confront, conf, confrontation an actual confrontation could also be you know them going um yeah going somewhere or saying something to you about this uh, or you saying something to them about this giving and receiving this situation that doesn't improve that you don't see results okay how they feel about gemini in the month of july mid-month Mid-month of July, Gemini. How do they feel about you, Geminis? Okay, with the Hierophant reverse. So some of you are dealing with a Taurus, but um, the Hierophant reverse. I see they. Uh, you could you could be divorced. They could be divorced, but um, they don't see that you committed enough. Because that's how they see you, how they... Also, there could be that they feel that they don't want to really get married or commit. Because, but what I do see, if, you, if you're trying to await results here, even if you are in a committed relationship already, it's reversed. So they seem like there is lack of commitment from one of you. And you or the other person could be waiting to see uh, before you, you talk about marriage even or talk about more commitment from each other. I do see that they may not want marriage, not, not yet, okay? So for the ones that are looking for marriage, the Hierophant is really marriage. Or a higher level of commitment. May, they may not be ready. They may, you may need some more time, some more results, some more. This is growth in the relationship. The relationship needs to grow first or grow more. May have gone weaker, weak, weaker. Some of you are weakers. So you studied weaker. You are witches. Beautiful witches, Geminis. Not all of you, of course. Ace of Swords, reversed. Right, okay. So you see them as, why are they not talking? 
Why they're not talking about the serious things that we need to talk about. Some of it is even about if you're going to stay married, you know, or in this relationship. So you're really not saying anything or they're not saying anything until this confrontation happens. It's going to have to happen, you see. If you're the one who's not talking, they will confront you soon. But I, I truly sense that it's you that see them as uh, maybe trying to avoid conf uh, conversation, this type, this type of commitment, uh, talking about commitment, talking about uh, the next step or what's going on in a relationship, okay? And the intimacy, they see that things are not improving in terms of, intimacy is not just sex, but it is also about being close and improvement. This is also results. Um, it's reversed. They're not seeing the results. They're not seeing any improvement in terms of even if it's just a flirtatious, if, if it's just new, um, they may be slowing down. It, it did definitely uh, slowing down the intimacy. So it could be stagnant. Okay. There could be some delays in wanting to get close, wanting to get intimate as well. If it's particularly new, someone recently that you met. Um, so they see that you holding back maybe because you may want to, if it's someone completely, you know, completely new, uh, you may want to know what they think about marriage, what they are looking for. That's what I'm getting here. And because you, maybe you're not talking about it yet or that you don't feel that they're saying anything uh, that will clarify your doubts about them, about the situation. Yeah, you you kind of you kind of waiting to see if this will improve. If not, you're gonna have to confront. Six of Pentacles is in in that uh, intimacy. Hmm. Give and take, giving and receiving. Well, you feel that you're giving, and they feel like you're not giving. Okay, so that's one for some of you. Um, Maybe you're just waiting until things get balanced, but they expect you to give more and it, it will never get balanced like that because if you're expecting, if they're expecting you, then you expect them. You'll never find that, um, that balance there, but you're feeling generous, Gemini. Maybe with your finances, okay, or you want them to um, kind of help you out in some way. You may want them to be ge generous with you. The obstacle is the Princess of Wands. This Princess of Wands, it's, it talks about, could be children, I'm hearing. Okay, it could be, uh, you know, some of you have young children or uh, there's some, you know, the obstacle doesn't need to be the child exactly, but uh, to do the things, to see the improvements is, you know, the focus is not on one another, but the children instead. But um, the Princess of One is to really get going with that passion, with that um, closeness, with that intimacy, getting intimate, basically, getting you taking action. They want you to take more action in terms of that. And that's an obstacle. It's maybe for them it's not happening the way they want. Ooh. What's the obstacle that you find with this person, Gemini? Love, opening up to deepen a relationship or, you know, maybe you're finding it hard as well. 
to fall in love. The obstacle is love. Maybe it's very new for some. And I'm seeing for some of you, they feel that the obstacle is someone else. It could be a younger female or younger male in your life. Yeah. It could be another female or another male because they find that you maybe are busy giving to a lot of people, giving your time, your attention to a lot of people. And your obstacle is really giving or um, this is really being open for a relationship. One of you is not. If it's in your obstacle and if you feel it's difficult to kind of go deeper with them or you're finding it hard to fall in love again. But why a commitment without... Well, a relationship could be about a lot of things, you know, but there has to be... There has to be emotion. There has to be love there. And it needs to be worked on in terms of uh, being open to give and receive love. If you feel that you're not able to do this with this person, maybe yeah, it's time for confrontation. It's time to deal with the problem and have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Outcome, Gemini. I will clarify each one of these cards in the extended reading. So the extended will be in the description and can become a member to watch all of them. Okay, yes, the outcome. Hmm. Confusion, choices. Some of you dealing with a Leo, I mean, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, whoever it is, I'm not saying uh, signs to confuse you, but Eight of Swords. So there is a feeling of limitation in terms of taking this far, taking this to a distance. It could be a long distance connection, I'm seeing, but for some of you it's to take this to the next level. Take You or, you know, one of you it feels a bit trapped here or has limiting believes about how they're going to really continue or take this long term with you. Now there's lack of positive energy or positive thinking. Yes, definitely lack of positive thinking. So maybe one of you is already thinking, oh, no, this is not going to work out. It's telling you that it's, you should reconsider or they're going to reconsider because there's, give it a break so they can, if, if it's them, there's a need to look at things again, okay? So maybe some time will allow this person to think and then make a final decision about you too. Um, but also in the meantime, you could show them some results about what they want to see. It's all about passion, you know. It's all about intimacy and, and being close. And and that passion, especially. They, uh, maybe you're just being, um, there is a, you, you give it, you're being too cold and the Princess of Wands just is a, a warm energy. So, a caliente energy, energy, so they could feel that you need to just be more uh, warm or just, you know, in terms of intimacy, wanting uh, more passion. Okay, so I will clarify these, but I'm going to, I'm going to take some oracles to end the reading. Triangle, yes, there is definitely a love triangle here. And there's a choice to be made between 
not even between two for some of you, but there's definitely someone here as an obstacle um, for some. But uh, this is all about choosing what to what to do. What to do? Should we go long term or not? Why I'm so men in this mental prison about it, thinking so so negative uh, about the situation. Even some of you moving away, moving. This could involve moving somewhere you've never been or somewhere you know you never lived before, and that's the choice. The young male could have a, another person around him with a triangle situation. Ooh, okay, I will stop. Twin flame is a brunette and communication. So he could be communicating with his twin flame. If this person, the young male, is your twin flame, okay, he's younger, he's young, and I will clarify who that is, but what we have here on, board, on, on, the, um, on the boards, Leo, Taurus especially, and the water signs, also some air, but that's just, just too many for you to figure out. But Major Arcana, Leo, and Taurus, um, <clears throat> hmm. I will do. I will clarify who that is in extended. Thank you so much for the ones that are going there. Um, I will see you there for all the rest, Gemini. I hope this helps, and thank you so much. Okay, bye bye.